All right, guys, Jeff here, Jeff's Custom RC. Uh, we've got the gear done here, guys. Looking really nice. Hope you can see that nicely under there. And now, going on to part two of the customization on this F16. I'm going to start painting first the tail cone, and I'm going with an all over gray. This is a gray, it's called Granite Gray. It is from Walmart, 50 cents a bottle, guys. Awesome stuff. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, get the airbrush hooked up, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so had a little switching of the gears here, guys, and I did not like the color that... I painted on these parts it was the pewter gray and now I have switched it actually to this it is the rust-oleum two times flat gray primer loving it it's almost a dead ringer for the color of the plane okay so I'll give you a little video here of this going on I'm holding this about a foot away doing pretty light coats. I also have paint on here, guys, so that makes a huge difference in how this reacts. So when I do parts of the plane that have not been painted yet, I will back away even further. that and when it dries it'll be flat all right stay tuned all right guys so starting on the uh, pain of the fuselage here I have retracted the gear um, also guys I have sprayed the gear with polyacrylic a couple of coats to keep the uh, paint on the gear um, I had a question about the paint staying on and yes with the poly acrylic on those they should be fine also have a white paint pen that I can touch them up with periodically if I need to um, so I'm going to be putting paper towel over the gear down in here and close these doors up so I don't get any overspray in there when I'm painting the fuse so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you what I got all right so as you can see I've got paper towel um, over all the gear and getting ready to plug up and uh, get these doors to close and hopefully that'll work out okay idle. yeah yeah I hear you baby so let's try this and just see if they'll close toggle the switch Good. All right, so everything's closed up in here, guys. Uh, no overspray can get in any of these cracks on my gear that I've already painted. That's the main reason I wanted to do that first. So we're going to unplug here, and now everything's ready to start getting some paint, guys. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So getting ready to start painting the fuselage here. Hope you guys can see this okay, because I'm hands-free here. So, I taped off my lights just to make sure I didn't get any overspray. I'm gonna paint the top first and be moving around slowly here. I'm gonna start on the front. I'm gonna paint over these guys and I'll come back and touch them up again. As you can see here, I also reinforced this nose with some more earth magnets. Did the same thing in the cone just to make it uh, hold better because that was another thing that guys were talking about and it did feel not tight. So it feels really tight now. So uh, yeah, it worked out really well. So here we go guys.
just a light coat, keeping the can back far enough here, just so we don't mess up anything. Again, using the times two Rust-Oleum. Going right over these stickers here, guys. Just a light coat. I'll move around to this side over here. If I can get by here. Again, guys, keeping this can, and you see about how far I'm holding it about, you know, a foot, foot and a half away from the plane. Keep shaking it up, guys. If you notice, these stickers are disappearing. Trying to get in here, guys, for you to see this, maybe. I hope you can, anyway. Get back around over here. Pick it up, good. Pieces of tape off here now. It should come off okay because I like to paint all this stuff. I don't like to see all this gray or white as it would be in there myself. And I'm gonna go back over this with clear tape too, guys. And I'll scrape those magnets clean. Trying to get everything I can as I can before I have to 
flip this thing over, guys, and get the other side here. And guys, if you ever get a little overspray on something with uh, your spray paint, your hands, any of your stuff, uh, WD-40 works really well, especially if you get it on plastic and you want it off. It uh, works really nicely. Put it on a Q-tip, rub a little WD-40 on this paint really slowly, and it'll take it off, especially on your hands. Works great. Hope you guys can see how nicely this is looking. Can't really touch the bottom yet because I want to get all this nice and done and dried first. Here, guys. Again, you can't see the stickers, man, and I didn't have to pull this stuff off and tear my paint all to pieces, guys. So, you know, just saying, why bother with pulling off water slides? Now, if they're bigger, thicker, heavier stickers like the vinyl was going across here, yeah, I get it. They're going to be raised up. But these water slides, they get, paint goes right over them wonderfully. And, uh, yeah, I'm not tearing my paint up any more than I have to to fix that problem. All right, so get down this top good because that's what you're gonna really see a lot of. So I want this paint to look nice on here. Take it up, that can's almost done, guys. Okay, so one other thing we're gonna do here for you guys. Gonna break out the heat gun. And like I said, this is where you really, really wanna be careful, but it does work great if you're careful. And now I'm just gonna help to, well, dry this paint a little quicker so I can move on to another process here. I don't want to put too much on it, guys, so just keep it moving. holding this probably about a foot, foot and a half away, about the same as a spray can. Just enough to give it a little heat there to heat this paint up so it'll go ahead and dry so I can move along here, guys, for you. Putting my hand out front just to feel the heat where I'm at. Again, we don't want gated foam, guys. This is a heat gun. I also use a blow dryer. Heat gun gets a little hotter, so really need to be careful of that. So I can already touch it, clean my magnet saw. Right. So let's see what we got here, guys. A new can.
Okay, I'm gonna put a little more tape on this light over here, guys. Make sure my lights don't get anything on them. Just don't want my lights messed up. Same to the red one, just to make sure we don't get any overspray on that, which I could get it off, as I told you, with some WD-40, but I'd rather not have to deal with it at all if I don't have to. So, get that up there like that. There's no more lights I need to cover anywhere, so... Yeah, I think we're set. Make sure we don't want anything sticking here really either. Put that bag in there. Yeah, I think we're good. Get any dust off from the paper where I may have had it lying here. Here. up again come around to this side here get all up in here really good All right, guys, so now we're gonna put a little more heat on this. Dry this paint. Alrighty, guys, now I'm gonna try to I'm gonna get her up off of this paper here.
Yeah, you see, see where I laid it, but that's okay. That's coming off. That's just a little overspray there. I'll hit that again. This is only coat number one, guys. So, yeah. So, I'm going to stand her up like this for now. Just lean her a little bit up against here. Tuck this all back into here like I had it. Just don't want any of my stuff in there getting messed up, guys. Like I said, these plastic bags are wonderful, guys. Don't toss them, use them. They're great. I'm gonna hit this area right here again. Where I had it laying on the paper. That should just about do that. All righty. Well, that's that, guys. And uh, we'll let that dry, and I'll come back for coat number two, possibly. And I'll be back with you. So hang in there with me, guys. All right, guys, so just a rough mock-up. Nothing is put together yet. Um, just wanted to give you a look, see at what I've got so far here. Um, everything's looking really good. Uh, as you can see, the canopy has turned out finished incredibly well. As I said, there's where the sticker was, and I am right up on it. You can barely see it, but that's okay because I'm going to use it as a reference point. You can definitely tell the polyacrylics on there. This is finished for now. Um, I'm going to do another coat on the fuse, uh, just letting this one dry really well first. I'm going to move around here. Uh, I'll set this up here where you guys can get a better look at it. Just don't want anything to stick yet, guys off paint but uh the main reason i'm doing this fuse again it looks really good again you don't even see those stickers if i zoom in that sticker was right here you vaguely can see where it is which is great i'm about a foot away here you don't even see it um definitely gonna paint this again primarily because I'm not sure if it's just not cured enough, but if you look, you can tell, same paint, different color. These were painted last night, however, all of this was painted last night. This was just painted this morning. So, I'm gonna see what happens with this. Uh, the nose cone was actually painted yesterday as well. Um, it looks like a pretty good match from what I can see. Um, but yeah, and you know, the thing about it is, most of this will be black in here. Um, so that's not a huge, you know, deal breaker. I'm gonna look back at my pictures and things like that, see what I got going on. But I just wanted to give you guys a rough look here at what she's looking like put together. Um, the gear, as you can see, if I can get up under here, all up inside here, no overspray because of the paper towels. Everything's looking awesome under there. Good here. Um, so yeah, really pleased with uh, how it's looking and uh, hope you guys are liking this.
I'll be back later with more.